Well, hello, 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 my friends. I am back with mail call part two. <clears throat> we have a bunch of stuff, excuse me, <clears throat> to go through here. So I have two packages that you can see right here and then a big box right here next to me. So let's start off. Let's let's start off with Simon Says. Because apparently there was more Simon Says than what I ordered in the last box that you saw. Whoops, please be careful. We knocked my plants over. So let's see what came in this box because I have no clue. It might be my card kit. I don't remember because I can't remember if I got this month's or not. There, I don't know. I, I don't remember. What I don't remember is Legion. And I think I may have an explanation. I'm having, I sent a text to a friend of mine, my former housemate, who called me last night to tell me there was a package at the house. And I'm betting it's that missing Birch Press order because it shipped out already. So I'm betting that's what it is. So let's see what else I got from Simon Says. So let's see. What do I have here? I have, oh, okay, I got a couple of Tim Holtz's Media Grip Mats. So I think this was more of me taking advantage of that 30% off sale. But I wanted to get this, although this works really, really, really well. I wanted to have one just to have the whole mat because it's very, oh my goodness, this stuff is really grippy. Like, I can't get it out of the box grippy. So that should say everything. Oh my gosh, I'm not kidding either. It's like, it is really... Wow. It's like holy cannoli. Let's yeah, it is literally stuck to the box. So th there we go. There we go. So yeah, this if you have any doubts about how much it grips, let me tell you, it grips. But there oh my gosh, this stuff is really and I thought this was sticky. But what I loved about it is that you can cut it up to hold like if you're stenciling or something like that. I was watching a video of Tim Holtz using it and I'm like, "Ooh, I need to have some of that. So I figured one was good, two was better. So I ordered two of these to have, if nothing else, one to keep it entirely in one piece, and maybe I won't. Maybe I, both of them, I cut them all up. So we will see. But I did get that. Okay, I don't know who you are, so you're getting just moved along. So we'll set that aside there. And then I got a bunch of this funky shredded stuff, which you know what makes pretty cool packing. So this is, this is I th in my personal opinion, this is... Um, recycling at its best. So I'm going to add that to, I have a box literally of just packing stuff because we, as we, you know, acquire stuff for Christmas, I have it wrapped up because we wrapped up a bunch of pumpkins or actually Natasha took down all of fall and Thanksgiving for me while I was in the hospital and wrapped all my pumpkins up, all my ceramic pumpkins and whatnot. So that child has been, again, I, did I mention that she was a monstrous blessing? She's been a monstrous blessing. This is it. When you ordered stuff from Tim Holtz, you got, um, you were get you're you were getting um the Walter and now I swear this is Walter and I swear that this is Mario. I've decided that's Tim and that's Mario. That's my take on this whole enchilada. I think that is so but they are so cute. But they're the two little penguins. And if you made a tin holtz order, I forget of how much, you got this die for free. Isn't it cute? But it's the Walter die Seber. <gasps> Excuse me. Achoo! 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 Oh my gosh, I am so sorry. <clears throat> but we have that here so that and and mind you don't forget oh my gosh look at all these little pieces i love attention to detail i i and, and then i see these little pieces look at those glasses guys look i mean look at that compared to my fingernail oh my gosh oh my gosh this is crazy but so stinking adorable but anyway i wanted to remind you guys that december is going on right now with um on Sam, Simon Says Stamp, so they have a whole bunch of releases or, you know, new releases. So you want, might want to take a look and see if there's anything that tickles your fancy. Why should I be the only one that, ha you know, cannot resist temptation? I've been trying to give them a wide berth. I figured, you know, I assured Simon's profit margin single-handedly enough by myself. Okay, let me put that here. And then the other thing I got is I picked up a three-pack of the Rock Candy Glitter. Now, I believe there's another jar that's going to be in my um, scrapbook.com, but I love his rock candy, so if one was good, three was better. So I got three of his glitters, but what I love about this glitter is it doesn't, I mean, it's just totally transparent, and I was watching, and I'll, I'll try to remember to link a video below of his, his demonstrating the rock candy. Oh my goodness, it really, really, really had me, so I went ahead and picked up the three jars because I think it was cheaper that way and there you go. You know, I don't take much convincing. I'm, I'm very suggestible. 
So I got, but so now trust me between this and the big jar I got, I have rock candy here to last me, you know, for a millennia at the very least. And that is it for this Simon order. So let me toss that box behind me and we'll go for the next one. This one, I know what it is. This is my sweet petunia. For those of you who are familiar with my sweet petunia, you already know what's in this box. And for those of you that are not familiar with my sweet petunia, I'm going to tell you what's in this box. I'm going to show it to you in a hot second. I This is another one where I waited until Black Friday. I've been waiting all year. I've been waiting for months. I've been telling you guys for months that I needed to replace mine. And I was waiting for Black Friday. I held out to get it with 20% off. So that's the time of year, guys, that you want to do it. So let's put that false fly, my pretty fly. I have my new Misty. Yay! And I got the teal one. I know you all are shocked to hear that I bought the teal Misty. You know, you know, I know. Get over it, guys. You know, <laughs> it's like, but I did want to replace. I mean, I have this one and I really do. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I really love my Stampin' Up one too, my Stamparatus, but I still, but you know, for the most part, not everybody can get the Stamparatus anymore. It has been discontinued. I don't know if they're going to come up with a new and improved Stamparatus. It's just something that tells me that they are. But I wanted to get the Misty because this is the more pot. You know, everybody either wants it or has it. So I wanted to have something that everybody had access to. So that's why I went ahead and picked up my new Misty. So look, it's now, and this is the new, the new improved Misty with now they have this pieces are because this is what broke for me. So my hinge, the bottom hinge broke. This exact hinge is the one that broke. So now this now it comes in metal. It's metal and it has, I mean it has there's a couple of things like right here is an easier way to grip it. It has a little lip right here. I now have, you know, the pad of paper. We have of course our lovely little um the foam piece it comes with. And we have the magnet right here, and it has a spot right here to be put away with, but no, wait, there's more. Let me reach into this box because I know what I did is I got a second magnet. I wanted two of these bars because I have the other bars from my other Misty, the Broken Misty, but, the, but they're thicker, and these are the more thinner ones that work with the Misty. So I will now, of course, wrap it in tape so that I can, because now I've stuck it in here, so now there's no getting it out. But I did buy the other, and a second bar, so that I have two bars for my brand spanking new Misty with the lovely ruler. I mean, I'm just, I'm, I'm jazzed. I'm not going to lie to you. I am very jazzed that I now have my new Misty and this one came. So I held out. I held out for Black Friday to get this. So now I has it. I has my new Misty. I can now... You know, sadly, retire the old one. We will, you know, send it away. The one other thing I also bought while I was, while there was 20% off on everything on the My Sweet Petunia side, because usually, actually, where I buy, I tend to buy a lot of my Misty stuff has been at Frank Garcia's studio. And this time, I, for, surprise, surprise, I didn't get. And I meant to have. I'm going to be honest with you. I meant to have, and I blew it and didn't. And there you go. So I missed his sale. So nobody's perfect. I think I spent enough money as is. I shared enough company profit lines all single-handedly. But I went ahead and bought the Cut Align tool because some of us have, are specially talented and we can't cut straight with the, with the um, oh, good Lord, with our craft knife. So I wanted to get this. And if they're, so they have a gap right in the middle. Hopefully you can see it right there where you can line up. So you, if you need to cut like a two inch from right here to like five inches, you can cut perfectly and it keeps you lined up. I just really, really wanted these. So I picked these up because I thought they were going to come in handy at a future date. So I got those. I don't, I don't need to be convinced. I have pretty much all of their tools now, I think. I'm pretty sure. So we'll put that away and set that. My trash is like ridiculously full. This is getting really bad here. We will toss this box behind us. Let's move that. I can't fly it because if I fly it, everything that's inside the box is going to fly too. Okay, now let's go for what's in the big box from scrapbook.com, which was also a big order. Because one of the things is another one of the things I splurged on, and I will show you. I, you know, I really did go. Just this is probably my biggest 
scrapbook.com order ever. So, um, I don't think I've ever bought this much at one time from scrapbook.com. Oh, look, our favorite dunnage. There's a ton of dunnage in here. Oh my goodness, I'll get that all flying. Oh wait, you know what guys, I'm snarfling. Give me a second, let me blow my nose. Okay, I am back. So let's start off with what is on at the top of the box, which is I bought one of scrapbook.com's three ring binders because it was teal. And it was on sale, so let me not lie. So it's mint, but it was the color I wanted it to be. And I love, I already have another one of theirs, so I knew that it was well worth it, I forget. But it was during their sale. It was on sale, and then there was an additional 12% off on everything. So I'm going to take it. I won't take they, they don't often do a high percentage. Well, they do a percentage off all the time, but 12 was pretty good for me. But I wanted to get this anyway, so I just have the three-ring binder. I already have plenty of page fillers. But since I really want to do some more pages and kind of mix it up here with what you're seeing me do, not just cards, but I also want to do some pages and maybe an album. So we're going to see. That's Those are, you know, in my, my dream plans coming up. So we got that. We'll set this aside over here and then figure out where the flip I'm going to put it later. Whoops. There we go. Hang on. Let me put that there. Okay. So next, and I think this is no way of easy way of doing it, is to just pull them all out. I major stocked up because I have fallen, you guys have heard me, I have fallen in love with Simon Hurley's Lunar Pace. So what did the Mad Scrapper, the crazy woman here do? I bought the full set. They had it as a bundle and I took it. I took them up on their offer. So I now have a complete set of the lunar paste because I really want to make more cards. In fact, I'm going to be returning in February to um, be doing the Card Making Success Summit. So I will be using these again. That will be, I'll be, I plan on using this, I think. I'm not sure. Oh my goodness. Let's just grab scissors here because you can always use this stuff. Don't remember, remember if you need foamy stuff. But I bought all of the colors now. So now I don't have to struggle and think and oh my gosh and oh my. And for those of you that saw my class and some of you did sign up for the summit, but I will be doing another card with those techniques, just a different card. I did a Christmas card for that. So we'll see maybe coming up for Valentine's or something like that. Or maybe I can do another Christmas card, right? What the heck? But hey, you know what? This would really work well with that. With this, I'm thinking because it's so 3D and it's wonderful with 3D. So let's, you know, hello, this is where you, I call it cross pollinating. You mix and match what you've got, but oh my gosh, I love this stuff. So I just decided to go all in and get all the colors. Once you find something you like to work with, just, you know, just use it. And I'm trying to limit myself to like, I'll have a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Oh my gosh. No, let's just stick to one thing. And I had enjoyed it so much. And now I have extra gold, which you can never have enough gold. So that, I mean, I got every color, even some like, oh my God, this is like screaming pink. This is not my color. I'm going to be honest with you. And I'm going to have to make peace with that and figure it out. But I mean, let me just turn them up. So I have all of these gorgeous, just gorgeous colors. And the lunar paste is so awesome to work with when you're doing mixed media and you're, you're layering colors because it dries fast. It's just great. So I got all of them now. I have all of the colors out right now of the lunar pace until he puts out more colors. <laughs> and then we'll have to get those too. <clears throat> That's the way I look at it. So now let me set all of these aside so that I can make room for what else is in the box. Okay, let me go. Let me go. Let me move along, move along, move along. You know, it's, there we go. Got that all kind of sort of out of the way. We'll move the foamy stuff. We'll put the scissors back where they go in their little can. And let's grab the next thing I got. I got myself a hunky dory. I want, I got the adorable scorable because gnomes, you guys know me and gnomes. I want to make these cards up when I saw it. I absolutely had, had, I love hunky dory. At, and it was funny. I used to not, I don't know why. Back in the day, I would poo-poo Funky Dory. I was like, ah, 
I, I, I don't know what was wrong with me. That was in a, another crazy person's life. But I have fallen in love with Hunky Dory. I mean, it is just, these guys are so, so cute. So you have all of these toppers. I'll go through them very quickly. I mean, look at them. Really? They're just too adorable. The adorable just is too much. You know what? Let me, I want to move it. Let me move these cans over so I can push it up more so that I make sure that you guys can see the full page because it's coming off my desk and I'm not sure where I'm centered at. There we go. But aren't they just too stinking cute? Can we see them all? Let me, you know what? Let me do this. Hang on. Let me shrink it down just a little bit or move them down. I got to move it this way. There we go. We'll figure it out, guys. But anyway, so we have all of these toppers. I think, is it two per topper? It looks like it. Yep. So we have two. Two of each of the sets. Oh my gosh, look at these. Look at, look, oh my God, look at the little animals. Tell me that's not adorable. I love it. And then we have all of these background papers, which are, I mean, they're nice thing. This is 100 pound, okay? 300 GSM at least. But the paper, the paper backgrounds in and of themselves are gorgeous. Look at that one. They are just, let I me mean, take a look at that. They're just magnificent. I love it. There is no wastage with these. And these are the, and these make easy cards, but beautiful cards. So, I mean, sometimes that's what you need. If things that are going to be, I mean, there's going to be wow in this. People that get these cards are going to be like, wow. And that's the point of our card making is it, you know, if, we're, if they're people, are you valuable enough to make them cards? Then they're, they're valued enough to be able to make them really cool cards. That's my thoughts. Oh my gosh, look at the little mushrooms. Oh my goodness. I love them. They're perfect gnome backgrounds. Look at that. Oh my God, look at the, they're just all of them. All of these backgrounds. Look at that. Look at the kitty. I don't want to give it away. I want to make that for me. <laughs> I love it. Oh, look at this one. So adorable with their little braids. Just, I just love them. I just, I had, when I saw this, I'm like, yep, that's mine. Gotta get it. There's no doubt. And then we have that. And that one's that. So that was the back side of the package. So, so cute. And here's our available. So also available in this range. So there's more, more inclusive stuff if you want to get it. I was good with this. So I went ahead and picked this up. And I don't know. Should I try braving? Trying to put it, getting it, sidling it back in? I don't know. I'm not going to even, I'm not going to try. We will just leave it and I will cut, you know, uh, the top off like I normally do. And then I could just use it as its own sleeve. But yes, we will be making stuff with this kit. It is too cute to not make stuff with that kit. Okay, let's see. What else is in this box other than dunnage? All righty, this, okay. This is, oh my goodness, oh my, oh my goodness, really? Holy mackerel. Let's get this. It's going to take a little bit of doing. One moment, please, while I get it out. Okay, this I wanted. I have been wanting to get it since it came out. So here you guys can see the box. Okay, now you saw the box. Now let me open it a little bit off camera. It's sitting in my lap right now so that I can get this open. But this is another trimmer. It is not... The one, I thought I had gotten it, so apparently I still have to go get myself a new small trimmer to replace the one that's dying here. Because one should always have a small handy trimmer. Okay. So what I did get was, what was recently released, was Tim Holtz Rotary Trimmer. I wanted to have a second one that I can just, you know, keep you, whether it's the Caterpillar that travels or this one that travels. I wanted to, and I wanted to try it. I really, really wanted to try it. And I'm a huge fan of Tim Holtz trimmers now. So I went ahead and splurged on this one, on his new trimmer. And he's come out with another one, a bladed trimmer, like the Fiskars. I don't know about that. I'm not going to say, I'm, I'm not yay or naying it. But anything that you have to replace blades on, it's like, oh, you know, eventually the blades do die. But I, but this is self-sharpening, so I knew I wanted to get it, and it has the extendable arm bet right here, so that you can measure either from the top or from the bottom. So you can see that, hopefully. Um, and I just, I just, I'm just really excited at getting this. So we are going to be playing with this one as well as Mr. Caterpillar. So I went ahead and I bought his new trimmer. 
I really, so you guys have not tried any kind of the rotary, rotary trimmer, I highly recommend them, whether you get it from Caterpillar, whether you get it, whether you use the Tim Holtz, the tonic one, I mean, because they're self-sharpening, so you don't ever replace your blade, I mean, and they're pretty, it's not impossible to damage the blade, but it's pretty hard. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna lie to you. I've done it once. I did it once. But the thing is, with it, be, as you run it back and forth, it, it's almost self healing. So know that if you nick the blade, there's a good chance that you can self heal it just by running, literally just sitting there and running it back and forth, whether you're cutting something or not. I have found that out. So I wanted to let you guys know. Okay, what else is in this box under more of these little air thingamajigas? It's like, goodness gracious. Let's see, what did I get? Oh, look, I lie about what else I got for the album. <laughs> I did buy a package of filler pa of filler pages. So I got a, what, a 50-pack, do you think? This might last me a while. With as slow as a, uh, a scrapbooker as I am, oh yeah, this will last me a millennia. So now I can just put those straight into the album. So we put that back in there for right now. And, ooh, this is I'm, this one I was excited about. I bought this on Pure Principle. It is the new, it's, this is the Prima. It's one of the new, um, it's one of the new releases. It is the Three Girls Tale. But no, that's not it. That I thought it was, I thought that was a different name for it. But either way, it's Lost in Wonderland. So let me take that back. Lost in Wonderland. I bought this, of course, on Pure Principle because, of course, it's Alice in Wonderland. So I had to have it. So I went ahead and bought this. This is a new, this is our new release. I When I saw it, I went, oh, I had to have it. Because I will buy anything that's Alice in Wonderland. So look at that. Here, here are our cut-aparts that I will run through my scanning cut. If I ever break that puppy out, I got to. Now that I can sit here and I'm really organizing, I'm trying to make it so that I can pull out my scan and cut so that I can do just that and use it easily. Right now, I mean, I have it handy, but it's up on a shelf. So, and I just don't have any room. So that's one of the reasons I really, really, I mean, I'm super limited in space here. I mean, extremely. It's almost like I feel like I had better spacing at, at the old house than here. I don't know, because I didn't use my scan and cut there either. So what am I saying? But so let me go through all the sheets. Look how beautiful that background blue is. Oh, I'm so in love with it. And there's Alice going through the little door. There's the bat, the white rabbit. I mean, it's just, it's just gorgeous. We're gonna have to figure out. This is gonna be an album. That's I've already decided that this will become an album, for the Mad Scrapper theme. But I love that. There's no, it's no use going back to yesterday because I was a different person then. I like, and how long is forever? Sometimes just one second. But look, I mean, the paper isn't that just really, really, really pretty. It's just lovely. And look at that. Look at that. The backside is like. Ugh. So it's a good thing they give us at least two sheets because there's no wastage on this paper. It's just gorgeous. Oh my gosh, look at that. And that's a, that's not like a purple, that's like a plum. But with the, the you have your little gold leaf in there. You have those really stinking, adorable um, mushrooms. And look at that, there's a little doorway with the, right, with the white rabbit picking out of that little doorway in the, ma in the mushroom. And then we have this background with the roses. Of course, remember the white roses that they're trying to madly paint red because they goofed up. They planted the wrong roses. And here we go. Alice Big. There's our big girl. I love that. And it's it's quasi cut aparts because these are can be cut apart. I mean, it's it's interesting. I have never seen a page done like that. I'm going to be honest with you. I love that before Alice got to Wonderland, she had to fall. And the sign, the Wonderland Tea Party here, this way, not this way, that wrong way. I, I love it. We're all mad here. Imagination is the only weapon in the war against reality. I think that says it all. I love that. Oh my goodness. I think that is a new tag. I love that. That is awesome. When you see something like that, that just speaks to you immediately, that has spoken to me immediately. And our backside is just the checkboard, the chessboard, just checkerboard with the, with printing on it too. Just really, really, really adorable. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful that is. That is just wonderful, you know, background with the, I mean, Prima does beautiful paper. Let's not get, oh my goodness. <sighs> Wait a minute, they put the gold on this side? They should put it on this side. That's just my thought, but oh my gosh, look how cute that is with the hats and everything. I just love it. So, and then here's more. I love this plum colored paper. I'm just in love with it. 
and I'm a teal girl. But and look at the roses with another clock again. And let's see, let's see what's on the other side. Oh, look at that. I think we go with this way. Oh my goodness, isn't that just? I mean, either way, it's beautiful. Whatever way you want to look at it, it is just gorgeous paper, just beautiful. Oh my goodness, they're gonna make me crazy. And then another sheet of cut aparts. I gotta love it. Look at that. look at that white rabbit. I love how they've drawn Alice. It is not the tradition. We always have the, either the Lewis Carroll. Alice or we have the Disney Alice so this is a different Alice and she's so sweet I mean look let me turn her upside down I mean look how sweet she is I really like how they've drawn her differently and then that's just it that's just a single side it's the cut of parts so but I just didn't get the 12 by 12 sheets people you know you know me better than that I got all kinds of coordinating stuff to go with it so, which is what is in here. I bought just about all the coordinating ephemera. For I think I did buy all the coordinating ephemera. So I went ahead and got the ribbons because it just looked awful, awful pretty. I mean, it's not just your traditional. Let me see. I want to open this. So I hate ripping labels, but there you go. I'm about to get over it. So we, it's not ribbon really, but look at these. So this is almost like not, and it's not... Um, Georgette, or I forget what this, but it's really pretty. So we have all of the colors that coordinate with that, with the collection, with the little pretty pins on it. So look how pretty those are. Really, 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 I love the colors. Maybe I should have gotten more. We'll see. But this is, this is a good start. You can always buy more later on. Hello. If I need more, I can always go to Frank and then feel less unfaithful for not having bought the whole thing from him to start with. There we go. See? I can justify anything. I went ahead and bought the journaling note cards. So just to add more to it. So let's see, where's our sticker that I want to remove? So hang on. Let's very carefully run it through with this, this tool. Just really just take my time. There we go. And then I just pull it apart right here. If I can, this takes coordination. I have none. There we go. We have that. And now we have, we'll do this on the other end. I know you guys, this is just like the Heinz commercial. Anticipation. That was your musical interlude. We're gonna quit while we're ahead. Under the best of circumstances, my voice is eh, and now with all this snarfliness going on. But look at that. So these are just all coordinating cards. Or oh, we can just use these for cards themselves. I like, I like that, oh dear, oh dear, I shall be too late. I love it. So, I mean, but look how beautiful that is. If you want to fly, give up everything that weighs you down. Right? Right? Does that not say it all? Absolutely. I think that is just, that's perfect. And then, oh, I love that. When you can't look on the bright side, I will sit with you in the dark. That's a wonderful something, a wonderful card to send to someone who needs it. Oh, look at that. Look at the keyhole. Isn't that just the cutest? And the back sides are not too shabby either. You can use it, but why? Oh my gosh. Just, oh my gosh, and look at that, the mad tea party. Drink me. Love it. I've had my fill of tea. Had lots of tea in the hospital. I'm not a tea drinker, but I still had it because it was beating anything else. This is my dream. I'll decide where to go from here. That's it. Gotta love it. That is so, so true because this is. Doing this with you guys is my dream. So we're just going to forge on. One, I love that. Another, all with the stacked teacups. Little mad little teacups. So let's see what else have we got. Ah! Sorry, there we go. How long is forever? Sometimes just one second. That's true. When you think about it, I always I've always see people who are struggling when they're with their kids, and when I always tell them, I go, I promise you it gets better. And then they grow up in a blink of an eye. You just you you're like, whoa, when did that happen? I love that. Before Alice got to Wonderland, she had to fall. And that's sometimes the truth. You know, I, I think there's more there in something like that. There is wisdom in that, just in that little saying. And oh my gosh, look at that. The secret, Alice, is to surround yourself with people who make your heart smile. It's then, only then, that you'll find Wonderland. And there you go. Surround yourself with positivity. Don't, you know, let the blue meanies go on their little way and be blue meanies somewhere else. Do not let them rent space in your head. Every adventure requires a first step. Is that not true or is that not true? 
and we have the back side. And then if you don't go where you want to go, then it doesn't matter which path you take. The Cheshire Cat. So true. <laughs> that is true. So now let's say let's move on to, oh my gosh, look at how cute that mushroom is. Don't worry, Alice. Wonderland is better when you're completely lost. I agree. I absolutely agree. We seem to have, sometimes we put ourselves on these missions and maybe we shouldn't be so mission driven. Maybe I, I have to remember that. And there's Alice with her, all her little signs here. We're all mad here. Absolutely. You guys know that. You're hanging around with me long enough. You know that. I'm the queen of madness in this channel. Let's see. And then I went ahead also and I got to this collection. I got the little three by fours that I love. So let's go ahead and carefully cut through this. And we'll cut through that. Oh, that's only one side. Yay. They made it easy for me. So I only have to uh, fold this over and then we have no stickiness. I'm always taking these things off and then I have the sticky stuff to contend with. And why when all I have to do is this, you know, sometimes, you know, wisdom comes slowly to the foolish, but we have more of that lost in wonderland. Oh, look at that. Look how cute the both sides. Sometimes we need fantasy to survive the reality. Yep. Don't we know it? And then books are mirrors. You only see in them what you already have inside of you, inside you. So all the backs are the same. The backs seem to be apparently the same. So it's only the front. Imagination is the only weapon in the war against reality. So all, these are just little repeats of the bigger ones, but with different pictures and just smaller. She began to believe that very few things are indeed impossible. Truth. Never limit yourself. Nothing is impossible, guys. Always remember that. This dream could come true. Yep. Oh, I've had such a curious dream. Very, very cute, guys. Something really, really adorable. All of these are just stinking adorable. Look at that. Look at the little clock watch. Fill your life with adventures, not things. Have stories to tell, not stuff to show. Truth. Truth. Truth in that. Oh, my gosh. We were just talking. I was sitting there and sitting with Nan talking about we we're wanting to take her on a cruise next year for her 95th birthday. And I go, Mom, we can't. What can we do to buy you that you don't already have, that you don't, that you really don't need? We would rather make memories with you. So that's the entire plan on taking her on the cruise. You have two choices. One will lead you to the happiness, lead you to happiness. The other to the madness. My advice, my, my advice to you is don't step aside. <laughs> I love that. You know what the issue is with this world. Everyone wants some magical solution to their problem and everybody reviews and everyone refuses to believe in magic. That's it. That is, that is it. That is so true. Time is not measured by clocks, but by moments. So, so true. Look at that little bunny right there. So these cards are just, they're perfect. And there's Alice in the looking glass looking out. And then no one ever made a difference by being like everyone else. Yep. I believe in that firmly. I like to beat the, you know, the, to the beat of my own drummer. I am many things, but sane is not one of them. And last but not least, time has a wonderful way of showing us what really matters. That is so very, very true. So now let's see, let's move along. What else have I got in here? One of these is one of my freebies. I got this, the, the one H inch double-sided adhesive roll. The clear, so this is, this was one of the freebies. If you ordered, there was like three, three, three freebies. That was one of them. And then this was not a freebie. This is, I love this. Look how pretty. I should have bought more of these, the sanding crystals, because look how beautiful. Look at those colors. They're absolutely just gorgeous. I absolutely love them. Okay, next we have the ephemera. And I ordered the ephemera, but this is almost like a, this is vellum ephemera, if I'm not, if I'm not incorrect, does it say here? But it includes, so you can see what is included in here. But, you know, there's not that many. Am I able to get at it without? No, I don't want to remove the staples. So, but you see all the ephemera. These are just additional people, but they are not, it is not like solid. These are vellum. They're vellum ephemera. And look at that. Even the car, you can use this, guys. So even the background, and the same can be said of, look at that. Look, if you look beyond the sticker, I mean, the um, our gems, look at that. That is usable. I love it when you can do that. Okay, this is, um, we're moving left field, but I did get these because, well, gnomes. 
And there was Karen Berniston, and it was on sale. And I love Karen Berniston, and of course, I love gnomes. And these guys are just too stinking adorable. And they're tiny gnomes, so they're little guys. So let's, let we're going to do this. Let's, you know, go whole hog and get tiny little things. Oh my goodness, because I love nothing more than to torture myself. <laughs> and let's see, what else is in this bag? So we have the six, the six by six pads. So with, and now this one does have stickies on both sides. So let's go ahead and open this pad up carefully. And we'll do this side too. And let's turn these over and this one too. Oh my goodness, that's just a hive a ton. I th oh, Natasha and the kids are back from their errands. I can hear it in the background. I can see all the noise. And ah, I had an invader here. I can tell because I had closed the door and the door is open now. So you know what, guys? Give me a second before I go through this. Let me close the door again so I don't have the background noise. Okay, hold on a second. I have closed the door before we have noisy little kids making all kinds of noisy little kid noises. But my grandkids, so I love them. Oh, my gosh. So this is just basically a repeat of the pad that you already saw just in 6x6 six six with smaller cut apart. So I figured I was going to get one. And these, are, and I could use this paper. is great for card backgrounds, combining them with these. So I love that. There's no use going back to yesterday because it was a, I was a different person back then. So, I mean, this I can just go through. Well, let's go through it. I mean, just so you guys can see it. But there's just the same. But there's double-sided, so we have just like the paper. So, and it's three. I think it's three or four, isn't it? Four of each design. One, two, three, and four. Yep. So it's four of each. So we just have extra backgrounds, extra small for small spaces, for... Um, for cards, again, it just doesn't have, what it does not have is the gold leafing, which doesn't mean that we can't do it because we have mad skills and we can add it back in. There is no reason why we cannot. So you have all of this paper, all of these sheets, and again, the cut aparts and lots of them now. And when you have a machine that will do it for you, oh, heck yeah. Okay, so let's see what is at the bottom of this pile. Let's see, there's... No, wait, there's more. So this was one of the freebies again. Another, a double, a two, isn't it? There's two, or is it just one? I forget. Let's open up. Let's see if I, I got, I think I only got one. That's generous enough. So I got the magic map, because that was one of the freebies. You got to watch. With scrapbooking.com, they have freebies going on all the time. So that's what I got. I got another magic map, and I don't use mine enough. I need to really, really, I mean, I have them. I just don't use them, and I don't know why. We have to fix that. So, I have the magic mat. So, that was one of the freebies with the sale. And let's see. So, I got pink fresh letters. I don't know if this was the other freebie or not because there was three freebies. But this is, and I would like to think that that probably was the case because I don't tend to buy a lot of alphabets. So, this is the Julieta, Julieta Alpha from Pink Fresh. And I can tell by the wonkiness that this is on a, oh my goodness, the um, it's a magnetic. It's on a magnetic. So, yep, it is, it's moving around. So, it is. It is on a magnetic. That is very cool how they did that. I love it. So, we have the Julieta um, letters from Pink Fresh. And last but not least, guys, I think that is it. I got these chipboard stickers from, again, from the collection. So, I love that. Trust your crazy ideas. That's it. Let me tell you a story. Every adventure requires a new step down the rabbit hole. I, I love that. Where you where, Go where you feel most alive. These are perfect. So I did get these. I should probably have gotten more. And this would be the cat. Oh, excuse me. Miracles happen when you believe. Let life surprise you. I love it. So guys, that is it for my hauls from Black Friday. That was all my shopping. The only thing left is to, I think it's Birch Press. Um, and there may be more. I don't think so, though. I think we're finally caught up with everything. So, I mean, I hope you enjoyed this vicarious chopping spree. Somewhere along the line, my rock candy has to be coming because I also, I know for a fact I got the big bottle. I wonder if that's coming from Amazon. But I am getting the large bottle of it because it's a limited edition. And I'm a sucker for, you know, they, they, they may come up with stuff like that for people like me. Okay, flat out. That's the truth. But hopefully you enjoyed this, guys. I hope you enjoyed my little shopping spree, and we will be coming back and making stuff. I'm feeling up to it, and I'm working on this room so I actually can, all right? So hang in there with me, but hopefully if you enjoyed this, 
you know the drill, guys. Give me a thumbs up. Drop me a note if you're of a notion. And if you want to see more of my continuing madness, then, you know, subscribe and ring that bell. You know when this mad scrapper is back. Meanwhile, I'm going to let you go. Go out there and craft. Make something beautiful. And always remember that what you make and what you give brighten someone's day. So go out there and make a difference with your craft, okay? Make a difference. And as always, don't ever forget, we're all a little mad here. So come on, craft the madness with me, okay? I'm going to talk to you guys later. Bye!